Okay, I want to show you something that no one's seen before. And uh, if anybody would like to duplicate this experiment, uh, please feel free. Uh, these are 2x2x1 two by two by inch neodymium iron borons. The difference being, oh god, is that they actually have a center axis hole through them where I could actually turn them and induce a current. But thinking outside of the box, I actually got the idea from uh, an obscure book on field theory and uh, reading into Maxwell's uh, theory on uh, the idle wheel. And uh, anyway, that's complicated. Um, by actually, you can actually see it here in the hump, and I'll show it to you underneath the magnetic viewing film. You see that bright line? Now, these are the planes of inertia. If these were just two magnets that were together, you can see the actual hump itself right in the center. I actually have a large smashed rodent coil in between these two large magnets at which I'm able to pass an axle between the two magnets and induce a current but the point is you can see here I have one lead here and another lead here if these were just two magnets that were together the plane of inertia would exist right at the center but what I have on this thin line here you can see it better I have the plane of inertia creating an oval with the bright dead center line around the smash coil which is this hump right here and by actually turning this and creating a phase disparity, I'm able to double up a current. So the potential, the short, the short of it is, is using this in a, a system of AC a power generation around a coil for power generation. I would be able to use a coil between two powerful neodymiums like this and have higher output. Now, I don't know what the exact percentage would be, but I'm guessing that it has to be at least 50% of the induced current um, from what I can calculate on spinning this using a simple uh, using a simple drill and uh, checking induced current off of uh, the rodent coil between these two neodymiums such that in other words for example you're not only harnessing the power of uh, induction on a coil um, from an AC generator from the magnets on the coil but also a coil between the magnets so now these are operating as a single magnet but the plane of inertia since there's a huge coil between these two well not huge but rather huge it took me a long time whoops my book fell down uh, <laughs> it took me a long time to make this and I almost killed myself getting it between these two really powerful magnets properly situated I mean here's proof there is no way you would ever bring two magnets together like this and then have a plane of inertia which looks like a dual set of eggs they would just be right along the middle and so the point is that I'm actually inducing a current by rotating these so what you're doing is you're having your cake and eating it too. You're actually able to induce a current by rotating these magnets in an AC generator system, but by inducing a phase disparity, whereas this coil is acting as a pseudo plane of inertia between these two magnets. Not only am I inducing a current in the traditional conventional AC generator system, but I'm also inducing a secondary current in the rodent coil between these two magnets so I'm inducing a double current and therefore instead of getting say 100% output on a conventional AC generator I'm getting 130, 140, 150% uh, generation and uh, this idea has never been done before but I invite you to do this yourself now these magnets are available God commercially and what they are they're two by two by one inch uh, with a hole in the center that's uh, six millimeters in diameter I've actually seen most of them listed as five but they're all the same so you can actually drop an axle through this and spin these magnets and verify for yourself the induction of a current so the entire summation of this is is that you're able to induce an additional current uh, on top of the current that is induced from a conventional AC generator. And here you can see it plain as day. There's no way you would ever bring 
a, a dual set of uh, these are N55 Gauss by the way these are really potent suckers um, these used to be really really expensive the ones with the holes in the center they have a lot of fun uses too including a prototype of something I'm trying to build but I need 12 of these I need 12 more of these suckers um, but here you're able to see it, that very thin line right here in the center between these two ovals, that is the smashed rodent coil. So it is acting as a, a plane of inertia and it undergoes a phase induction when these magnets are actually rotated because of how it is situated and where the magnets are actually fighting uh, their acceleration. But they can't because at the plane of inertia, now, you see this plane of inertia on either one of these magnets. It has actually shifted from the center here to here, and the same here to here. But they're trying to form along the rodent coil that is smashed between them. Perfectly smashed, by the way, not like smash, smash, you know, let them jump together. You know, very carefully smashed. I should have actually cautioned that statement. But here you can actually see the hump. There it is right there. It's actually sticking out of the sides, but that's no big deal. 80% of it is between the magnets, and that's all that matters. So, I invite anybody to recreate this themselves and verify the fact that an, a traditional AC uh, generator system uh, can have an additional um, a source of induction on top of the conventional source of induction. Um, you know, it, it's... It, it's really as simple, and I got the idea from Maxwell's Idle Gear, as simple as the premise of, you know, harnessing. It's the same way jet engines work, by actually changing the geometry of the air that's compressed uh, through a jet engine, you're actually able to increase the output by simply changing the geometry. Why not take advantage of a rotating... Uh, a rotating uh, AC generator by tapping off part of that motion that is not being impeded for the production of energy for the production of an additional set of energy to increase ultimate power output so that's where I got the idea from was from James Clerk Maxwell he didn't mention this specifically but it just became as an aha moment this took me a long time to make by the way it was very hard 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 it was very frustrating. I cussed, a, I cussed a lot actually making this sucker. And uh, getting it together carefully took two people. I had to get two people, meaning myself, myself and my buddy, to get this together carefully and correctly. So, anyway, thanks for watching. And like I said, invite anybody to build one of these. I need to get a dozen more of these. Exactly a dozen more of these. Thanks for watching. Bye.